You can do anything. Paint a masterpiece in a minute. Learn every language in an hour. Build a multi-billion dollar company overnight. And rule the world by tomorrow. So, what's holding you back? Why aren't you doing what you want? Didn't hear enough Mozart as a baby? Didn't eat enough veggies growing up? Or is it because you're not using your brain at its full potential? Want to know how you can? This is what if, and here's what your brain would be like at full capacity. The brain, to say the least, is very complex. We've studied it for centuries, and we're still learning more of its secrets today. But be careful. The search for facts can sometimes lead to fiction. To be smarter, your brain needs to be bigger. False. Brain size relates more to proportion than it does to intelligence. For example, here's your brain next to a whale's. Guess who's smarter? Guess whose body needs more processing power? Your brain is smaller than a whale's because your body is smaller. However, your brain is structured in a way that enables you to survive and succeed. But after all that, would you believe that humans only use 10% of their brains? Let's make it 100%. We've seen what really smart people can do. They inspire us through art, music, literature. They change the odds in sports. They come up with tools to make our lives easier. And they help organize society as a whole to make us all more powerful. For better or for worse. With access to your brain's full capacity, you're limitless. So what do you do? First things first, you finally get to solve the Rubik's Cube that's been collecting dust on your shelf. Call up your smartest friend and challenge them to a game of chess. Checkmate in two moves. Relish. When you're done being a smarty pants, you'll be looking for a real challenge. Since being smart means that you won't be as stimulated by the things that keep us simpletons happy. So what's your interest? Art? Science? Technology? When you're limitless, you don't have to choose. Picasso was overrated. Sorry I'm late, I was up all night curing cancer. So I thought, why not? And that's how the time-traveling toilet came to be. Okay, back up. Limitless? What happens to your body when you're dedicating all your brain's energy to a creation, a cure, or a patent? Your lungs breathing, your heart beating, your food digesting, and your blood circulating, that's all your brain. Even if you could access 100% of your brain's capacity, you couldn't use it. You would be limited by your body's survival needs. Remember when we asked, would you believe that after all that, humans only use 10% of their brains? Did you believe it? The 10% thing is a myth, and it probably comes from a simple confusion. Your brain is 10% neurons and 90% glial cells. There are different types of neurons that take care of different functions, but in general, your neurons enable you to process and transmit information, while your glial cells surround your neurons, providing them with support and insulation. And you know what? All human brains share the same design. Your brain has just as many neurons as Albert Einstein's did. So how can you be smarter? Treat your brain like a muscle. Stimulate it. Try new things. Take on challenges. And get enough rest. Maintain healthy habits, that's the smart thing to do, and of course, it's a no-brainer.